Well, folks, uh, welcome to Rim Shots with Sean, brought to you by Barstools and Band Talk. We're going to do a fun little segment. As everybody knows, uh, it's festival season. And one of the ones that's coming up next month, now August 19th to 20th, is River, River Fest Rock the Bush in its uh, new location out in Aylesford. Uh, yours truly is uh, absolutely honored and blessed to uh, be part of it. And we have a gentleman here who, uh, Mr. Rob Gibson with uh, Feathers and Anvils, is that correct? Yeah, Rob Gillen, but yeah, Feathers Sorry, and Gillen. Anvils. Yeah, read it wrong. Yeah, you don't you don't have to be smart to host a show, man. You just have to be able to talk really fast. Rob, thanks for doing this. So uh, you, you were just saying you did this about 10 years ago with another band. So you're back for another crack at her. Yeah, we did Riverfest a couple of years in a row. And this would have been 2011, 2012, I think. And uh, now that uh, we're performing with Feathers and Anvils, the opportunity came to play uh, this year. We couldn't say no. So tell me about your band a little bit. Uh, where, where do you hail from? What have you guys been up to? Yeah, so Feathers and Anvils uh, is a we're kind of an alt metal, hard rock style uh, band uh, coming from Halifax here. Um, formed during the pandemic, um, put the band and the lineup together over the course of the pandemic when we could start to get rehearsals and that sort of stuff in. And uh, yeah, we've got a couple of albums out now and uh, started gigging in the spring, uh, late summer, uh, late spring, early summer here. And uh, so, where have you guys been playing? Uh, just around, you know, kind of Halifax, PEI, we've got uh, some shows coming up. We've got Riverfest, obviously, August 20th, and uh, just around the Maritimes and that sort of thing heading into the fall. So uh, I get to play on the Friday night, which I'm really excited about, but I'm going to stay the whole weekend and kind of cover the event. Uh, Jason and his team have done a great job, very organized. Obviously, you know, of course, and he's super creative. Um, what, what can people expect to see out of your band when they're there? Uh, we just try to provide a really uh, kind of uh, high quality, energetic show. You know, we work really hard at, uh, at you know, both the songwriting and also the performing. And we just love getting in front of a crowd of music lovers and, uh, and, and bringing our craft and, and playing our trade and sort of uh, playing the tunes and, uh, and just trying to entertain everybody. So we're with Rob Gillen as I uh, misspoke first. And I want to say, we're, we're both wearing hats. I don't normally wear hats when I do this, but um, you know what? I got this lovely Motley Crue hat from Rocker Chic in Fredericton. Uh, if you guys have, uh, they're one of our new partners that uh, we brought on board. Um, so, uh, you know. Well, I'm a hat gets, guy. I got to say, I'm a hat guy. Are you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm a hat guy if I don't have enough time to like fix my hair. Um, anybody? Yeah, I don't have much hair to worry about, so I'm a hat guy. Mine's a little flat right now, but anybody that knows me knows I'm super vain about my hair. So, uh, um, and it is real for anybody that has sent cards and letters asking. Um, so 40 minutes set, everybody gets to do a 40 minute set. It's quick. It's dirty. It's fun. Um, you know, what are you guys going to pull out of the hat here to, to get people hopping on a Saturday night? And where, where are you guys on the bill, by the way? Yeah, we're Saturday, um, kind of midday Saturday, I think. And um, yeah, we've got a, a set lined up primarily from the, la the latest album that we just put out uh, March 28th of this year, um, Swallowed by the Sun. So that's, uh, that's the most recent uh, album that we're kind of promoting and, and playing live. Um, we'll probably bring a track or two out from the first album and uh, maybe even throw in a little cover uh, uh, just to kind of get everybody excited. So, and, uh, you know, hit us, hit us up with the kids that are in the band here. We got, we got to name them. Yeah, so uh, so it's myself uh, live handling vocals. Uh, we've got uh, guitarists uh, Matt Kenny and Adam Hersey, uh, bassist Keenan Noggle, and our drummer Kyle Smith. So um, again, you know, uh, we decided to do this. We thought it'd be fun to talk to some of the acts that are playing. Uh, are are you you in and out? You going to hang out for the day? What 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 are your plans? You going to try to check out some other acts on the bill? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think that uh, most of us are going to try to stay there for a good chunk of the weekend. And uh, I mean, the lineup is is pretty fantastic. So, you know, we're really looking forward to catching a bunch of these bands live and some of them we've seen and some of them it'll be our first time. And uh, it's going to be uh, going to be fun to share the stage and definitely hang out and support uh, support everybody else. And I mean, this sounds really lame. When we first started bar stools, I mean, there wasn't a lot going on. So we did have the luxury when everything opened up and getting out and seeing a lot of bands and reporting on them and, and going to their shows. And then, you know, a funny thing happened. I, I started to play again and uh, wound up have, being in not one, but two bands. So it's been a little harder for me to do that. However, I'm looking forward to not only Friday night, but Saturday night. There's a lot of people on that bill I've never heard of that I'm really looking to forward to seeing. Yeah, I mean, just 
Nova Scotia and Maritimes in general has, we've always punched above our weight class, right. In terms of, you know, the quality of, of musician and, and, and bands and groups in this area. So for, for us, uh, like I said, there's, there's some bands we've, you know, either shared a stage or will be sharing a stage with soon, or we've done it in previous bands. There's others that we know of, and we can't wait to see live again. And then there's others that we've kind of just, uh, just found out about personally. And, you know, again, we're really excited to, uh, to see them. I find too in these, and I've, I've done a few of these festivals. I've done a, a few multi bills and you really get to find out who's cool to work with and who isn't cool to work with. Everything happens so fast. It's chaotic. You got to change over, you know, uh, you don't have a lot of time to primp and whatever. It's like, do your set on to the next, do your set on to the next. And you get to find out really quickly what, you know, playing these types of shows is really all about. You don't necessarily have time to practice or rehearse or, or, or warm up and you're just off to the races right out of the gate. Yeah. And I think, you know, hopefully for a lot of us, we feel pretty show ready any day that we wake up, you know, we, we put in that time ahead of time so that uh, we can show up and be ready to rock. Um, but uh, yeah, I did my homework on this one. Um, I actually uh, made the connection with, uh, with the engineer for this festival and uh so we've done some work and the guys in the band knew uh knew zach from previous uh projects that they had and so uh yeah we're gonna be uh, very festival and uh and and sound guy friendly <laughs> that's the intent anyway well and you know when you mentioned zach lacy and his name will probably come up a bit i mean zach is really one of my guys that i prefer to use i i've always had a thing i love when drummers mix me because i'm a drummer and i get two things i know it's going to sound good i know if i'm playing well not a word is spoken i know if i'm sucking it's the first thing that's brought up um zach's super pro and i tell you he does a great job on that console oh yeah i mean and uh, incredibly generous guy too with his knowledge and his and his gear and his and his time um and like you said just a consummate professional we're really looking forward to uh to the festival and when we played it in years past um everything was really, you know, kind of running along, like the schedule was, you know, everybody was respecting it. And, you know, when it was time to load on, you know, everybody had their stuff ready side stage and it was, you know, everybody was on and kind of set up and, and ready to go, you know, by the time the, the clock struck. And then when it was time to get off, it was get out of there and, you know, the next band was lined up. And um, even though Feathers and Anvils hasn't played, um, you know, I, I said, we played it, you know, two years in a row and we just had such a great experience, really well run, really well organized so last question we got to go here uh where are people going to find you guys and get to know you guys before the festival yeah so i mean feathers and anvils.com uh you can find us uh on instagram and facebook feathers anvils band um we try to keep pretty active on social keep all of our gigs and stuff uh on the uh, on the website and uh yeah we've got uh, albums out on spotify apple music youtube music whatever uh whatever suits your uh, your fancy when it comes to the streaming. And uh, so Feathers and Anvils. We're Good stuff, there. Rob Gillen. I can actually read that down in the corner now. Um, thanks so much for doing this. Look forward to seeing you out there uh, when we uh, get out there on August 19th and 20th, man. It's coming up. Yeah, likewise. Yeah, looking forward to it. Ciao for now. Cheers. See ya.